National Assembly has uh, passed a vote of no confidence in Prime Minister Pagadita Musisidi's government. The vote was uh, not counted, but Speaker Nkloi Muzamai passed the motion. And to tell us a little bit more about what happened, we're now joined uh, by a correspondent uh, there, uh, Ntakwana Nkakani. Um, Thank you very much for joining us. And I just wonder, today, was it a surprise? What is it, was it a shock? Peter. Well, it wasn't a surprise, really, because the opposition has been saying over the, cup, the past couple of weeks that it has the support uh, to pull through this motion of no confidence. You know that uh, the Alliance of Democrats that broke away from Prime Minister Pakadi Tamusisi, this Democratic Congress, has come together with the Obasutu Convention, the biggest opposition in the country, the Obasutu National Party, as well as the Reform Congress of the Sutu. They have said that they have 74 of the 120 members supporting them in the National Assembly. But as you say, it didn't get to a point where it had to come to a vote of numbers. It was only a yay or nay. And of course, the yay had it, as the Speaker said. Peter? So the challenge I guess he had was that this is, this is one of the stories of coalition politics. You always have to keep the coalition partners happy. What are the things that he did wrong that uh, people said, look, we're not happy with you? Was it the handling of uh, the Mohau assassination? Part of it is, in fact, uh, what happened is the breakup happened within his own party. As I say, his deputy or former deputy leader, Munyane Muleleki, went out with a good portion of the National Executive Committee to form a new party. They were saying that they don't like the... Uh, uh, nepotism that the government is practicing. They don't like the corruption that the government is practicing. They were saying that the biggest fallout was with a, a fleet management contract that was awarded to uh, Bidvest that they say that is costing the country twice as much as what it was uh, spending on government vehicles before uh, Bidvest came into being. So one of the biggest uh, problems that came into into that. But also some uh, members of the Democratic Congress who support the Prime Minister saying that the Deputy Prime Minister has always wanted to be the leader and that is the reason why he left. So this in essence is the reason uh, of what happened. But in terms of his coalition partners, the Lesotho Congress for Democracy, the Deputy Prime Minister's party and other uh, five parties that are in that coalition, they are still supporting the Prime Minister. And, uh, of course, Peter, what happens next is that for the next three days, either the Prime Minister will resign or he will advise the King to dissolve Parliament and call fresh elections. All of this will then determine what happens after that. Peter? So what's the most likely uh, scenario, uh, given any precedents that there may have been set in the past? Well, uh, we know that in Lesotho, the king does not have executive powers. Uh, this stems from a 1993 constitution. And uh, from what the prime minister says, as far as his consent, his advice is binding to the king. Therefore, the king cannot question it. And if the king does not agree with what uh, the prime minister advises, the prime minister says he is at will to continue. But the opposition says that in a case where the prime minister's position is at stake like it is now, the question of that advice to the king should actually be questioned by the state council. So at this point in time, like I say, for the next three days, what the outcome becomes will then tell us constitutionally what holds in terms of whether or not the advice of the prime minister is binding to the king or whether the king still has the final veto in terms of the issue of the motion of no confidence and the removal of the prime minister in Lesotho. Peter? Okay, Ntakwana, that's where we're going to leave it. That's our correspondent uh, in Lesotho, Ntakwana Ngatane, who is uh, giving us an update on this uh, dramatic uh, events that took place uh, in parliament in Lesotho today. The prime minister getting